Good afternoon and welcome back to the University of California here in Berkeley. NCAA Women's Water Polo Championship tourney play. The semifinal round has arrived and we start with a classic. The defending NCAA champs, Stanford, taking on the undefeated UCLA Bruins, the one seed in this tourney, number one ranked squad in the nation. The first of two on the day. Greg Meskel here with you for NCAA.com ahead of what should be a stellar day of water polo. Let's take a look at the bracket and see what transpired yesterday during our quarterfinal slate and four big matches to get things going here in Berkeley. And the Bruins holding serve early against Wagner out of the MAC. All the top seeds doing the job. Stanford, one of their de best defensive efforts on the year. They upend USC just allowing three goals from the Trojans to advance. Hawaii, they've been number two for a large part of the season. They defeat Princeton, and then the home team, the Cal Bears, they're able to hold off the upset-minded Fresno State Bulldogs, and that sets the table here for our semifinal round. And so, up first, some blue bloods here in women's college water polo teams that routinely meet in the NCAA championship. These two squads have met in the last four NCAA tourneys. Now you take out 2020 due to COVID. So 2019, Stanford wins at 2021. The Bruins, the last two years, the Cardinal have defeated UCLA on their way to winning the national title. They did that against USC. They dumped out the Trojans yesterday. And so it'll be a different path for the Cardinal if they can make it happen this year. As we get this one underway, the ball's in the water and the Bruins will control in their blue caps, Stanford in the white caps. Our officials for this one, Jen McCall, Alex Stankiewicz, as we get started here on another picture perfect day in the East Bay. A little breezy, about 70 degrees. Sun, few clouds, and the first try there is off the mark for the Bruins. And now we'll see the Stanford Cardinal. Here's Maya Avatal. She's joined in the field by Christina Hicks, Sophia Sanders, Maggie Hawkins, Cameron Barone, Sophie Wallace, and Skylar Jones. As the Cardinal go on the attack. Third meeting of the year between these two. Bruins, of course, undefeated. They won the first two. This the money game here in the postseason. Field block, a major stuff inside. Loose ball, a battle, and track down by the Cardinal. They'll have new life on offense here. Bruins take a look. Nothing doing just yet. Here's Barone. Works around to Sanders now. Opening minute of play in our first semifinal. Hawaii and Cal to follow. Entry in, looking for that reverse spin and the Bruins attack that entry and bat that ball away as the Cardinal tried to connect with Christina Hicks. Now in the cage here for UCLA, the star freshman Lauren Steele joined in the field by Brooke Doten, Molly Renner, Lily Guess, Malia Allen, Anna Pearson, and Pawnee Segetti. Here's Doten now firing and the save is there from Maya Avital. Cardinal led by John Tanner, 27 years. Associate head coach Susan Ortwine, also 27 years. The Stanford team making the NCAA tourney again. They've made everyone that's ever existed, and within those tourneys, they've made every semifinal round. So back again, the most consistent team in women's college water polo. Sanders now. Shot clock to eight. Cross cage, steal. With a look there from the far side. And Lauren Steele with the discard. Ball back in to get a second look at her save. The freshman from Old Greenwich, Connecticut. Again, a new shot clock. Again, extended offense here for Stanford. Sanders now, the La Jolla native, cruising in. She'll give a look. Double team arrives and losing the handle. Still plenty of time here for Stanford. Shot clock to 13. They threaded inside once again, facing a triple team. And Hicks tries to turn and go and lost that ball as she tried to make her move towards the cage as Steele controls. The Bruins led by Adam Wright, his seventh season, the three-time Olympian, a 2008 silver medalist with Team USA. Also leads the men's program at UCLA, has made them one of the top programs over the last 10 years. Shot clock to five, to the outside. Here's Allen, lefty takes a look off the post, rebound. In front to Hicks, Malia Allen played very well the last time these two got together. It went off for six goals. 
It's a short list of people that dropped six goals on the defending champs. Allen's one of them. Entry on this end. Steele off her line. Helps slow down that attack from Stanford as Cameron Barone was pushing the issue. And now here come the Bruins. Molly Renner, the junior from Laguna Beach, head up on the attack. Small advantage for the Bruins if they hustle, but that's slowed down out near mid-tank. Good pressure and foul there for Maggie Hawkins, the sophomore from nearby Lafayette. Allen, along two meters, far post, a penalty. Bruins went across the way looking for Doton. John Tanner in complete disagreement, suggesting that should not have been a penalty called against the Cardinal. So UCLA with a chance to get our first goal in this one. It'll be Pawnee Segetti, the freshman from Hungary, to take the five-meter shot here against Avatar. 4.40 to play, opening quarter. Semi-final action, Segetti puts it home. And Pawnee able to hit her 34th on the year, the freshman from Budapest. Avatar had time to really creep out from the cage. And Segetti still able to put that home. And now the depth of the Bruins. They'll bring in a new look here. Adam Wright so often keeps a lot of his key personnel on the bench from year to year. Really shows you their depth that you could look at either one of these groups that come in. They could be starters. Shot clock to 10. One nothing lead for UCLA. A little drive through, excellent look, and there's an exclusion. Some nice movement there as Barone went towards the cage, and Stanford will have the first six on five in this one. Palmer excluded. Cardinal go to work as we near four minutes to play in this first quarter. Barone's knocked down, swings it back near side. Entry back in again, right in front, traffic. A loose ball and stolen away, but then a ball under. Bruins had it back. Stanford stayed with the play, and they forced the ball under. Sides coming even now. Advantage is over. Cardinal still with the ball. Good look out high. Skip it home one time. Stanford has tied this game at one. Hitting from the outside, it's Cameron Barone. Sophie Wallace on the dish. So this is after. Stanford gets the ball back. A little discombobulation there from the Bruins on defense. Barone able to slide in within the five meter mark. Point blank range. And the freshman from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Three times the Miss Pennsylvania water polo with Cumberland Valley High School then finished up at Santa Margarita Catholic in Southern California. She's able to hit for her 35th on the year. And we're even at one, halfway through this first quarter. Becca Melanson has come on now. Speaking of Pennsylvania natives, entry in here and an exclusion. Nicole Struss is on. Anna Pearson, Nicole Struss, a devastating one-two punch at two meters for the Bruins. And now UCLA will have their first six on five. 3.25 to play in the opening quarter. Bruins looking near post. They go around the perimeter, swing it back now. Melanson, the lefty. Gets it back, timer to 10, that's field blocked. Knocked down. That was Barone scoring on one end, field blocking on the other. And both sides start 0 for 1 on the six on five. Here's Wallace. Sophie Wallace marching in, drops it inside. Bruins are everywhere. Three Bruins show up there to slow down that attack. As they went into Eleanor Facey, the reserve two meter who's come on. Here's Genoa Rossi into the game for UCLA. Rossi marching into six meters. Segetti tries to thread that inside. They'll say inside two meters is the call against Struss. Was camped out too long without the ball. 2.15 left. Barone 
Again, defense coming over. They give her a little water to operate in. Stanford now to the outside. Hawkins lets it go and is off the mark wide and high. More high than wide either way. Off the mark and under two to play in the first quarter. 1-1 one, one game. Trip to the title match at stake. That pass from Steele bounces away from the intended recipient. Was looking to connect with Taylor Smith out front. Pressure there, Sophie Wallace, the fifth year from Newport Beach. Moves ahead now. Here's Sternfels. Right-hander takes a look. Gives it back along two meters, what a play! Off the post! Oh, that was perfection, except for the finish. Second look here, how about this dish on the hand on that drive? to the cage and just unable to convert. You can't draw it up any better than that, minus the goal. One minute left now. First quarter. Melanson faking again. A variety of fakes and lights it up cross cage. Eighteenth goal on the year. And again, just faking, faking, buying some time, keeping an eye on that keeper and on that field blocker, unable to go up and over across the way. That's her 18th on the year. Wanted to go to UCLA since back in seventh grade. Asked for UCLA clothing for her 13th birthday, and now here capping up for the Bruins. And scoring an important goal here in the postseason. Under 40 seconds to play now, first quarter. And just dropping the ball, the Cardinal. On the perimeter. And now a takeaway. Full head of steam, Renner. Good foul there from Hawkins to try and slow things down. She dropped the ball on the other end. And now Stanford will try to recover. About a four second difference, shot and game clock. Entry inside, here's the big turn. And ordinary as Pearson looked to go to work. Seven on the shot clock for the Bruins. Allen, outside, Segetti, and running out of time. Excellent recovery there by the Cardinal. They give that ball away, give up a counter, don't allow a goal, and that's all for the first quarter. Stanford, you have to imagine, please, to get out of that last second scenario without allowing the third goal of the game. It's a 2-1 lead for the UCLA Bruins after one in our first semifinal of the day. Good energy to start in this win or go home battle. We take a timeout and return to Berkeley after these messages. Second quarter on tap here between Stanford and UCLA. As we mentioned earlier, third meeting between the two. They got together first back on February 24th, a 9-6 win for the Bruins. That was a non-conference play. And then on March 30th, their MPSF matchup, that was a 15-8 win for UCLA. That was the match where Malia Allen went off for six. Lauren Steele, the keeper, had two goals. Able to score twice in that match. Once the end of a period, seven on six, the other just finding an opportune moment to let fly from long range and hitting. Talk with the Stanford staff pregame. They thought about that match that they got up to a good start first half and then just the second half, that one started to get away from them and that's where UCLA picked up the victory. They really I think the Bruins are talented from a mobility standpoint. As you see the save there by Steele. Good entry in. Stanford's been trying to work for Christina Hicks, the senior from Hawaii. Steele there with the stop. Her second save 
early on here. Opening moments in this second quarter. Here's Allen. He's playing so well in the back half of this season. Renner changes the angle outside of the cage. Avital ready to close off that near side post. And now looking to outlet in traffic, drops that pass in. And the Cardinal now attacking Sanders. Barone cruising in, and they'll wait for some reinforcements. Hicks again looking to post. The Bruins surrounding with three. Steal with the save as UCLA content to allow Stanford the outside shot. You can see the respect they're paying to Christina Hicks. They've got three blue caps surrounding her as she tries to set up shop in front of the cage. They'll take those outside shots and trust that Lauren Steele will knock them down or a fill blocker will get there. Allen. Renner. Allen with two. With one. Cross cage. A beauty from Malia Allen. And a 3-1 lead for the Bruins. Allen again with time winding down. Everyone knew she had to shoot it. Makes it sometimes a bit more difficult. And goes high corner cross cage for her 32nd on the year out of Irvine, California. Adam Wright said her confidence, her fitness, the last half of the season has been so big for this team. And a 3-1 lead for UCLA. And that one's off the cage, out of play. And it's back to Steele. Here's Smith. Taylor Smith gives a look. Now moves to the middle of the cage. They'll leave her alone off the post and it trickles along the goal line. But Avatar able to gather. Nearing five and a half to play. First half. Shot clock to 15. Wallace moving in. Defenders get jumbled. Wallace left alone off the post on this end. A little missed assignment there from UCLA. It gave Sophie Wallace a huge opening to slide in and fire. Now the field blocks come as we see the replay, but unable to hit. And she got in close. Bruins losing the handle there. That was Segetti trying to add to this lead. UCLA in front 3-1. Stanford defeating USC yesterday 8-3. Had defeated the Trojans in the MPSF third place just two weeks earlier. So a lot of experience with the Trojans. Got the win again. And now here against the Bruins. Shot clock to seven. That one's deflected. And Steele's able to gather. It was field blocked initially. Got Steele a bit out of position, but she's able to gather it up. See that hand right in front will knock it down. Doesn't get all of it, but slowed it down enough that Steele was able to gather. Renner goes right inside. That scoop shot there by Doton is tipped out by Avital. Tried to sweep that in here. Kind of a scoop, a sweep. Avital denies it. And the Bruins stay on offense here halfway through the second quarter. Renner moving into six meters. Knocked down from behind. Barone there pressuring. The give to Smith all day off the mark. Taylor Smith, they've given her an opportunity to shoot here on a couple of occasions. Can't convert there. And now Stanford trying to find an answer on offense. 
They go right back inside. The backhand on the reverse spin. That was a crafty shot. Spun strong side and then gave a backhand the other direction. But again, Steele ready. So Eleanor Facey trying to catch Lauren Steele off guard. And she was ready. Offensive foul. That's against Doton, trying to post. And now Stanford looking to go. Cardinal on the counter. Pushing inside three meters, still on the move. And an exclusion will go against UCLA. In close, score it! Stanford goes quickly on the six on five. It's a one goal game. Sophia Sanders. After Smith was excluded, the Cardinal quickly spots Sanders. This is in transition now. Cardinal aggressive on the far side. That was Facey who just put her head down and went to work, draws the exclusion, wastes no time, and Sanders doesn't stop swimming, enters the offensive area and is able to cash in. Steele now coming up and again, you've got to keep an eye on her at all times. A threat to fire from anywhere, even as a goalie. Under three to play. 3-2 game. Renner, far out. Molly Renner. Had a clean look, could not convert. And now Stanford looking for the equalizer. In traffic, but help from behind. Doton right there, able to knock down that attempt before the shot could ever be released. Good help defense there from UCLA. That's what we saw from Stanford yesterday against USC. It seemed as if they made all the little extra plays. The field blocks, the deflections. Bruins inside again. And that's an exclusion against Stanford. And Doton posting up, just an easy call there for the officials, grabbing the arm. And the Bruins now with their second power play. Didn't convert the first time around. They have it here with under two to play in the first half. Renner again at six meters. Here's Allen. They keep it on the perimeter. Who wants the shot for the Bruins? Swing it back far side. Side's coming even now. Advantage is over. It's Allen. And hitting her second. So technically not a power play goal as sides have come even, but Malia Allen gets the result the Bruins wanted. Another score, her second, Bruins in front, 4-2. And Malia Allen, who has played well against the Cardinal this year, has her second. An important part of this Bruin team since her freshman year in all MPSF freshman team selection. A few years back. And still a critical part of the attack here for Adam Wright now, 4-2. With just about 90 seconds to play in the first half. Hicks back in now posting for Stanford. On the outside, the catch and release. That works for Barone. So she's got two. Bruins, again, paying attention to Hicks, as you have to do. It'll leave an outside shot available, and Cameron Barone steps up and hammers it. So she's got two for the Cardinal. Allen with two for UCLA. It's a one-goal game once again, 123 remaining. Winner moves on to the national championship. Steele fires that ball into the front court. They go back inside. And an exclusion as Pearson working. Six on five again for the Bruins. But then an offensive foul. So UCLA never gets a shot off. They draw the six on five, but then a hold on the interior. And they give it right back to the Cardinal. Stanford down a player here as they have to come back after being on the five-person defense. Shot clock down to 10. Now they're at full strength. Cross cage, what a rocket! Up on her legs! 
and hitting is Quinn Healy. And we're tied at four. Quinn Healy not wasting any time. Wasn't going to bring that down and fake. Let any sort of defense set up shop as Steele ranging the other direction. Healy went back cross cage. And the freshman out of Sokol High School is on the board. And she has tied this up at four. Steele firing over the goal. Quickly has to go back. Avital thought about letting it fly. Steele able to quickly recover. So Steele tried to catch the Stanford defense off guard. They go off the post as the Cardinal now on the offensive end. So Steele went up over the cage, couldn't hit. She quickly sprints back to get in the goal. Avatar passes on a full tank shot. Now Steele will join the offense. Seven on six here. Shot clock is off. Last looks for the Bruins. Ten seconds to go in this half. Empty cage for UCLA. 4-4 game. This is where Steele's been dangerous. From the outside, save Avatar. Empty net with one on the clock. Avatar gets it away. Will it eventually roll into the goal? It doesn't seem to have the current it's going to need. It's drifting away. And UCLA will get back to cover that ball up. Again, had that ball eventually found its way into the cage, even after the buzzer would have counted. A no-go for the Cardinal, but they make the stop on seven on six at the end of the first half. And our first semifinal, as good as advertised. Malia Allen with a couple for the Bruins. Cameron Barone with two for Stanford. We're even at four. We're back with more at NCAA.com. Halftime in the Bay Area, Stanford and UCLA all even at four. This has been a good one through two quarters. UCLA taking the edge early. Cardinal battling back the two-time defending champs. Let's look back at some of the big moments from this first half. Both teams trying to feel their way through the first few moments of this. Uh, a lot of defense to start, some big stops. Our keepers are world-class. Five for Lauren Steele, three for Maya Avital. Bruins breakthrough with the penalty. Stanford started to find their offense a bit. Six on fives have not told a huge story just yet. Stanford one for two, UCLA 0 for three. This was a powerful move here by Stanford. This is the six on five goal they scored. Facey undaunted draws the six on five and goes right to Sanders. The knowing nod of a couple of folks that have played together for a long time. Malia Allen, six goals last time these two met. She has two already. And then Quinn Healy, the freshman, stepping up with a big score. And that tied us at four. Bruins then went seven on six. They were stopped. And that leads us with this 4-4 four, four score. We have got some more great water polo on the way. Come back and join us. Welcome back, NCA.com coverage of the 2024 Women's Water Polo Championship, the first of two semifinals. UCLA and Stanford meeting now, Hawaii and Cal to follow at approximately 4 p.m. local time, all leading up to the championship tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, live on ESPNU, streaming on ESPN Plus as we crown a champion in women's water polo. There's a look at Lauren Steele. Should be a high school senior reclassified to start the college experience sooner, and should be only by age, right? Highly qualified to be where she is, and has shown she is more than ready for the moment here. As a freshman in college water polo, has played so well. So within the USA national team system, has made 
some of the pipeline rosters in the past, so a promising water polo talent here on display at her first NCAA championship. In front, off the mark again. Stanford now has had two chances going towards the goal. The pass is there, the catch is there, and then the finish just not where they need it to be. And now the Bruins. Teams have switched ends. Bruins moving right to left here. They'll go quick. The skip ricochets around the cage. Avatar got in front. Sagetti can't hit. And now the Cardinal will go to work. Here's Stanford. Without some key personnel this year, an Olympic year, a lot of athletes training on both of these teams with their respective national team squads. Save is there by Steele. And then on the way down, an exclusion. UCLA will have the advantage. Renner on the attack. Has space to operate. Wallace excluded, Renner moving in, takes a peek and hits. 5-4 lead for UCLA. The Bruin contingent behind the goal loves it. And it's the first power play goal for the UCLA Bruins. And that's Renner. Mentioned personnel are on these rosters for UCLA. Missing Emma Lineback training with Team USA this year. Sienna Green with Team Australia. For Stanford, Jenna Flynn, Julie Romer, Ryan Mitchell, Ella Woodhead, all part of their NCAA title team last year. A bobble, a drop, and a pick up there by Smith. So Stanford allowing the six on five after the exclusion and transition now a giveaway here. Bruins trying to rebuild their lead. Sigetti, Palmer now. Goes inside, the turn, off the post. Clean turn there, Pearson had the spin and delivery. The post has had a ton of stops this weekend. Two minutes gone by, third quarter. One goal lead for the Bruins. Sanders. Tried to thread the needle. Barone was on the drive through. Bruins closed that gap pretty quickly. Five and a half to play. Smith now. Works to Allen. Offensive foul. That's against Pearson. So Pearson called for the offense a minute, two meters. And the outlet pass for the Cardinal as they try to go quickly on this end. Sanders, a key facilitator for this team. Barone on the inside, Bruins have her well surrounded. Sanders, changing her angle. Shot clock to five. Cross cage, off the bar. Somehow able to get a shot off there, fading backwards on that attack from the perimeter. Second look here, that's a tough shot to get away and almost a lob that found a home. Instead glancing off the bar and we play on. Smith fired that pass, actually hit her teammate in the head inadvertently. We're looking to go into Pearson. A little too much heat on that entry. And you see the way Stanford's playing Taylor Smith. They are asking her to shoot that ball. So let's keep an eye out and see if Smith will let a few fly here from the perimeter. If nothing else, to keep that defense honest. Hicks, the backhand, steal all over it. Hicks inside, again, goes quickly, senses the pressure coming. Like that quarterback feeling for the blind side. No, the defense, the crash is about to show up, has to get rid of it. Here's Sanders now, along two meters, Barone. Didn't have it lined up. Yeah. 
Steele now goes ahead to Allen. Palmer moving into position. Goes back inside, there's an exclusion. That was a good entry into Pearson. Cardinal knew it, they've got to give the foul. UCLA will have the six on five, they'll call for timeout. Looks to just be a 30 second timeout. And as Adam Wright makes a couple of changes here. General Rossi comes on. Three forty remaining here in the third. And a thirty second timeout. So Rossi in. UCLA likes their six on five alignment. And now Smith will control. Segetti along two meters. Palmer now, entry in, right in close. Avatar got a piece, couldn't stop at all. And the power play goal is there for UCLA. That's General Rossi. They subbed her in for a reason. She pops free right in the middle. Avatar was up big initially to try and make that block. On the way down, got a little fingertip on it. But not enough, and General Rossi, the sophomore. A youth national team world champ with Team USA. Able to cash in and a 6-4 lead for UCLA. Here's Wallace. Stanford in need of some offense. Down 6-4 now, 3.05 to play. Wallace faking, Sanders firing, Steele there again. A race for the ball. And Lauren Steele with another stop. Second look at Steele. Little off balance there, somehow still comes up with it. She has eight denials thus far. 2.45 left. Zagetti goes outside. Allen now. Movement. A little double post threat here for the Bruins. The clock to two. Zagetti with one. What a rocket. Pony. From distance. Three goal lead for UCLA. Timeout called by Stanford. Shot clock about to expire. Pony Zagetti. Her shot or nobody's. That's premium. That goes on the sniper. And a 7 4 lead for UCLA as Segetti adds another. Go at him, right? Bringing his group in as John Tanner wants to talk things over. Susan Orton wanted with the dry erase board out as the Stanford team finds themselves in the hole now. Down three. Three unanswered by UCLA. It was a 4-4 game and a half. UCLA has come out on fire in this third quarter to deliver three unanswered and pull in front 7-4. Bruins working on that perfect season, 24-0. Got the win over Wagner, 17-7. Yesterday they defeated Cal 13-10 in Bloomington to claim the MPSF title. For Stanford, another impressive run for the Cardinal. We talked about all the personnel they don't have. Olympic red shirts, you add to that. One of their most legendary players, Aria Fisher, graduating, the two-time Olympic champion. Also Serena Brown training with Team Canada. Has a lot of firepower, not a part of this roster. A testament to their squad to get back to the semifinal round again. 7-4 lead for UCLA, 2.20 left in the third. Avatar will get things started. Danford with something scripted here, presumably, 
out of the timeout and they get what they want. It's Christina Hicks. We know about her abilities in front of the cage, but showing off the range from outside. That's her 47th goal on the year. And again, Hicks draws some defense out and then drills that shot. The senior out of Punahou. A change now for Adam Wright. He'll get Smith back in. Two oh five left in the third. Two goal game. Inside, a steal. Bruins looking to post. Again, they have that formidable duo at two meters. Pearson back in now. The sophomore, Adam Wright, calls for the best center in the country. With Stanford collapsing. Sanders takes a look. Cardinal trying to close in. It's working. Another for Barone. She's got three. Three huge goals from Cameron Barone, her 37th on the year. And Stanford showing their resolve, battling back now with two in a row to make it a one goal game, 7 6. Just a good piece of shooting from Cameron Barone. Told you she started in Pennsylvania, made the move to Southern California, moved out to California, lived on her own. That last year of high school, John Tanner said that sort of responsibility prepared her for wearing the Stanford suit, for being a part of this team. Bruins answer. It's another from Genoa Rossi. She had two the first time they got together. That was a three goal win for the Bruins. She's got two here again today and pushes it back to a two goal cushion. Rossi near side. From Laguna Beach, California. Played her high school water polo at modern day. And has given the Bruins back a little bit of a cushion here. Sanders. They thought about going quickly there. Under a minute to play, third quarter. Wallace, Sanders now, takes a peek inside. Wallace marching in, it's field blocked. Steal. Help right in front, and the Bruins knock that down. Now less than 40 seconds to play here in the third. Twenty-four. Nine in the shot clock. Sagetti. Timer to two. Save Avatal. Sagetti tried to go lob there off balance. Shot clock is off now. Eight seconds left. Stanford looking for one more a bite of the apple here. But that pass is off the mark. Two seconds left. With one, Rossi lets fly, and that won't have the distance. We are through three quarters in our first semifinal. UCLA with a big surge to open this third quarter. Three unanswered. Stanford, they fight back, scoring two straight. And it's a 8-6 game here as we head to the fourth quarter. A trip to the national title bout is on the line. Who will make the next push in this back and forth battle? We'll find out when we return to Berkeley after this. And welcome back to Cal. Greg Mescal here with you for NCAA.com. Fourth quarter ahead, UCLA eight, Stanford six. 
Cardinal coming into the postseason looking for a three-peat. They've won the last two national championships, Stanford and USC. They have been the dominant programs. Bruins looking to keep a perfect season going. They've said that's not the focal point, the perfect record, although now it is because they need to keep winning to win that national title, but it has been more about bringing a title back to Westwood than about perfection. They're now intertwined here as we are into the postseason and a chance to move on to the title match. Our next semifinal to follow at around 4 p.m. local time, Cal and Hawaii, but this has been a good one. Tied 4-4 at the half. Bruins built a three-goal lead in the third. Stanford cut it back to one, and now a two-goal edge here for the Bruins as we start this fourth quarter. Here's Smith. Waving that ball around, and that one is denied. A field block. The Cardinal defense holding. Such a rich history between these two in the NCAA tourney. We mentioned this is the ninth meeting in the semifinal round. Stanford holding a five and three record. They've also met eight times in a title match. That's even 4-4. They met way back in the early 2000s when the NCAA first started sponsoring women's water polo. Sanders now. Barone, Sanders, her shot, Steele is there. Lauren Steele now, nine saves. One minute gone by, fourth quarter. Bruins drop it in the bucket and an exclusion. Pearson again causing problems. Boones now with their sixth advantage. They're two for five. Renner. Smith, now Palmer. Allen back to Palmer, and she is high of the goal. There's respect there for Avatar. They're trying to go with precision accuracy, or accuracy on these deliveries and go high of the cage there. So now UCLA two for six. We'll see a timeout called by Stanford with six and a half to play here in the fourth, still down 8-6. We talked about the history of these two, of these programs, and of this NCAA championship event. And Stanford, for a long time, they were on the outside looking in in the late 2000s. It was UCLA that was the team to beat. They had won five in a row, but you look at what has transpired over the last 10 years or so, it has been a lot of Stanford Cardinal. Again, the last two titles, then winning again in 2019. They've strung together a couple of back-to-back -back championship seasons. And really since 2011, Stanford has been the most consistent program in women's college water polo from a championship standpoint. The Bruins, they've been in a couple of those finals, haven't broken through since that run of five. And then back in 2009, and. For USC, they've certainly had their share of titles. It won't happen this year as they were eliminated in a very rare quarterfinal meeting between Stanford and USC. So we look here at a lot of the results over the last several years. And what this season's bracket assured us is that we would get some sort of different championship final than we've seen in the last decade plus. With Stanford, USC, you still all on one side of the bracket. You knew something would be different come tomorrow. We still don't know what that is going to look like, but we're getting answers today. Stanford now completing the timeout. They go right inside. Hicks surrounded. Loose ball. They'll chase after Steele as Sanders tried to take that ball away. She's claiming she was hit by Lauren Steele. No call. Contact there. Always usually avoid the contact. And now Allen. Bruins with a small advantage. Segetti. Moving in, the lob off the bar, the rebound off the post. Two great chances for the Bruins. Segetti can't cash in from the outside. Pearson on the follow, nothing doing. And the Cardinal dodge a major bullet with under six to play here in the fourth. Stanford on the attack here. Barone. Lefty Avery Montiel has come on, off the bar on this end. That was Sanders trying to rattle the cage and put one home. Under five and a half to go in a quick moving fourth quarter. Second look here, Sanders. 
Another close call. Ordinary on this end as we return with the Bruins. Rossi into Pearson and draws the exclusion. Once the pass comes in clean, there is not much Stanford can do. They've had to give the exclusion. Anna Pearson so strong at holding position. And as long as UCLA can facilitate that, that entry, it has led to positive results, not just today, but all season long. 8-6 lead for UCLA. Timeout called by Adam Wright with 5-8 to play. The six on five on tap here for the Bruins. They are two for six thus far. And this is a big moment, a chance to go in front by three. Looking in at the Stanford huddle, they know the importance of a defensive stop here. Trying to upend UCLA for the first time this season. Recent history was all in favor of Stanford. We talked about the semifinal meetings, but in general, coming into this season, Stanford had beaten UCLA seven straight times. They had the Bruins number over the last couple of years. That included the last two semifinals in the 23 and 22 season. Of course, the Bruins turning the tables in this 24 campaign as they have on every team in the country. Stanford, again, we told you about their roster. And again, depending on how some of the conference tourneys could have ended, Stanford was down big to Indiana in the quarterfinal round of the MPSF tournament. They lose there. Who knows what happens? Now, other things would have to potentially happen. But they're in that large pick, and they might not even have made this tournament. So they battle back out of that hole. They win an OT. They go on to defeat UCLA in the third, rather USC, excuse me, in the third place matchup. They get into this tourney, defeat USC in the quarters, and here they are. It is a resilient group, but facing a two-goal deficit here. Bruins on the advantage. Zagetti swings it across. Allen. Palmer now. Around the way, Smith, Taylor Smith connecting on the six on five, a nine six edge now for UCLA and a huge shot from the sophomore. We mentioned it earlier, they were daring, daring Smith to sure, shoot, giving her all kinds of chances to fire from the outside. And in this big moment here in the fourth quarter, Taylor Smith steps up and knocks it down on the six on five. That's her 34th on the year. And a 9-6 lead with 4.48 to play. Six different Bruins have found the cage. Smith the latest. UCLA 4.42 away from getting back to the NCAA title match. Here's Barone. The go-to for the Cardinal today. Pressure from the Bruins. Entering inside, Hicks the backhand steal. She's everywhere, the Bruins need her. Big save as Christina Hicks went fast on the entry in. New shot clock now for the Cardinal, 422 left, fourth quarter. Stanford in must score territory. Sanders, Barone denied. But then, presence of mind, Sophia Sanders forcing the ball under. Thought about going quickly after the change of possession, now they'll regroup. Wallace now, she's been quiet today. Sanders along two meters. Wallace catch and release, that's denied. Brooke Doton with the field block. The Bruin defense tightening as this game gets to the later stages. Under four to play. In transition, Pearson, a penalty. Bruins got the step, Pearson getting in front. And again, UCLA so good at finding their star center. They put that ball in. Drawing the penalty on Wallace. That is her third, so Sophie Wallace has fouled out of this one. Bruins add another. Make it 
Boney Sigetti, he has three. Here's a look at the penalty. This is all Pearson, swimming hard, getting out in front after the change of possession. Once that pass comes in, knows to let go of that ball. Draws the penalty, and then Sigetti. Big day for the freshman. As that's a big moment as part of the Hungarian national team, and now that's translating well here to the college game. Talked about what's at stake for UCLA. And it's a story program. Seven times they've won the NCAA championship in women's water polo, but the last time, 2009, that's a long time for a team that has title expectations every single season. They got back to the final in 2021. They lost the USC in that one. They hosted that day in Westwood, but the Trojans, they were on fire. Racked up the goal, set a record for most goals in the final. So didn't work that day for UCLA, but they are three minutes and 40 seconds away from getting back and having another chance to end that drought. In the front, 10-6 here. Got him right, center of your screen. Long-time assistant, Jason Fowlix, looking on. Look at some Cal faithful. George Bakian, big man for the Cal Bears. These fans just waiting for their team, the Bears, to get into the pool up next, and then the UCLA fans as well. And the men's water polo team. George Alessandria there, left side of your screen. We talked about some of the players that are missing for Stanford. Jenna Flynn, Jewel Romer, training with Team USA, Olympic hopefuls. Just getting back from a trip to Paris with Team USA. Here in the facility. Cleared customs probably an hour before this one started. And here to cheer on their teammates from Stanford. They're going to need their cheers here over the next 3.34. That pass goes over the top and gets away. Missed communication there. And a takeaway. The Bruins have it back as Stanford, out of the timeout, looked to connect with Barone. And now Allen. Doton getting inside. Nearing the three minute mark. Ordinary call there. They'll go back out to Smith. Shot clock to six. Timer to three. To two, outside six, and that's over the cage on the Segetti try. 2.53 left here in the fourth. Here's Barone. Score the goal for Stanford. Actually, no, they say no goal. That's outside the cage. So wave it off. with 2.34 to play. And Steele can take some time away. So again, Steele and the Bruins content just to run time off the clock in front by four. And 2.15 away from getting back to the championship. Steele. That's out of play. And now back to Avital and the Cardinal. Barone, here's Sternfels. Goes inside and that one finds the back of the cage as Sanders and Hicks were camped out in the middle. Ball comes to Sanders and she's able to step through and hit. Sophia Sanders has another. And that brings it back to three at 10-7 with 1.49 to play. One forty-nine left. UCLA still wants to take time off the clock here. In a strong spot with a three-goal lead. Garden Lean to be careful not to get excluded. Pearson again posting. That makes things challenging. They're trying to stay in front of her right now. As once she's gotten in position like this, 
It's often been an exclusion, but here they'll call it for the offensive. And the ball back to Avital and the Cardinal. They'll go long here. That pass tipped up. And Sternfels will track it down. Looking inside now. Left all alone for the moment. A few fakes and then stolen away. But then ball under. Cardinal come and take it right back. Stanford, they don't have a lot of time to work with here. 1.15 to play. They got to start shooting. Looking outside, here's Pasquale. And that's a save from Steele. And one minute remaining now, and the Bruins in good shape to move on. It looks as if Stanford's bid for a three-peat will stop here in the semifinal round. And the UCLA faithful on their feet here in Berkeley. The eight clap ringing out at the Speaker Aquatics Complex. And you'll expect this UCLA contingent to grow for tomorrow evening and our national championship match set for 7 p.m. local time. Just 30 seconds left now. Avital tries to go in front and Stanford will call for time. So some final substitutions here for John Tanner as we look ahead. More great water polo action ahead, our second semifinal. Make sure you come back and join us, 4 p.m. local time. The Cal Bears taking on the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine. Bears looking to get back to the final for the first time since 2011. Hawaii's never made a national championship final. And they're back in the semis for the first time since 2013. So a lot of history at stake on this day, and that's coming up right here on NCAA.com at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Stanford will go seven on six here. Bring a field player in at the goalie cap. Hicks, knocked down, empty cage. And now we'll get a game exclusion on a kick. And Christina Hicks now. Looks as if she's still shaking off being hit in the face as Palmer has been sent off from the match for UCLA. Off the post on that attempt. Just a few seconds left. Last look for Stanford. They score the goal at the buzzer. Cameron Barone will finish with four, but UCLA will finish with the win. And the Bruins are moving on a 10-8 victory over Stanford. The perfect season has one more mountain to climb. They are on to the national championship match. They finish with a two goal victory here. And they improve to 25-0 on the year as they get back to the national title game for the first time since 2021. For the Cardinal, their attempt at three straight titles. It's halted here by the Bruins. Their year finishes at 19 and seven. As they once again reach the semifinal round every year that an NCAA championship has been held. We look back at some of our final numbers again. Lauren Steele continues to impress in the cage. 12 saves for UCLA. Amaya Avital credited with five stops of her own. On the offensive end for Stanford, Cameron Barone. They haven't put that last goal on the board. It sure seemed like it got off before the clock sounded, but the score sheet says three. It'll be four if they do decide to amend that score. Sophia Sanders adding two as well. For UCLA, Pawnee Segetti with three. Genoa Rossi, Malia Allen, two goals apiece to pace that Bruin attack. Now they've added the goal. So it is 10-8. It is four for Barone. And now to this one finishes a final huddle here for the Stanford Cardinal. For the Bruins, they're on to the national championship. We will see them tomorrow evening. Who will they play? Come back and join us at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hawaii and Cal meeting for the third time this season. They split their first two meetings this year. Should be another great game of water polo. But for now, for our entire NCAA.com crew, Greg Meskel saying thanks so much for joining us. We're back here at 4 p.m. Pacific for the Bears and the Rainbow Wahine. The Bruins are moving on. Come back and join us shortly.